What's up, North Texas Barbecue Addicts? We just got done making these beautiful, juicy cheeseburgers on our Monument Grill. If y'all wanna see how we did it, y'all stick around. All right, guys, we've got our flat top Monument Grills uh, griddle heating up. It's on a medium over here and a low over here, and I'll explain to you why I did that um, a little bit later on in the cook. Let's go ahead and get our USDA Prime Six Brothers Beef Burger Patties on to the flat top. That's the sound of beauty right there. We're gonna be seasoning today with some SPG, the original SPG from Suckle Busters. I'll have their information down below in the description box. We'll season this side. And then when we flip them, we'll season the other side. I did put a little bit of uh, vegetable oil on the griddle while it was heating up. There we go. So I'm gonna let that cook for about three minutes and then we'll flip them. I'll catch y'all back at that point. All right, we are about three minutes later. This guy's trying to follow apart a little bit on us. That's all right. We'll touch it up right there. Let's go ahead and give these bad boys a flip. Oh yeah, perfect. You really can't beat flat top cooked burgers. Those are looking awesome already. Like I said, let's touch these up. I didn't season this side yet. Let's hit it with the SPG from Suckle Busters. They got all kinds of seasonings and sauces and things, but something about salt, pepper, garlic on a nice prime burger patty. You really can't beat that. So, like I said, I got this on about a medium on this side and a lower temperature on this side. And the reasoning for that is we're gonna saute up some roughly diced onion, jalapeno, and minced garlic. Let's start doing that. Really low temperature over here, so we're not gonna burn that minced garlic. We're gonna slowly saute these, get some color on them, and uh, heating them up will really bring the flavor out of all these ingredients. Here we go. Put a little bit of SPG and the onions, jalapenos, and minced garlic. Man, this smells amazing. All right, so I'm gonna let these burgers go for another three minutes, continue moving these jalapenos, onions, and minced garlic around, and then I'll bring y'all back. Man, if y'all could smell this, something about flat top cooking. And I love that we have two different zones of heat. Like I said, this is on a lower temperature over here. So we're not gonna burn any of our ingredients like that. Just slowly saute them and add a little uh, flavor into them by cooking them up a little bit. Let's go ahead and flip these burgers one more time. There we go. These are getting close to done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull our jalapenos, onions, and minced garlic off. And we'll cook with them here in a little bit. Set them off to the side. And now we're gonna put some good old cheddar cheese on our burgers here. Dang, this smells good, y'all. There we go. A little hack, I'm gonna put this over the burgers just to melt that cheese up nicely. I'll check back with y'all when we pull this off and uh, start toasting up our buns. So it's been about a minute since this has been covering our cheese with our burgers there. Let's check it out. That's looking perfect. 
I've got some brioche buns here. Put that right there. And I told y'all we were gonna get back to business with our sauteed onions, jalapenos, and minced garlic. Put that right over that cheese. And let it start soaking into our meat there and our cheese and infusing all kinds of good flavor. There we go. Man, this smells insane. All right, I'm gonna cover these burgers up one last time while I toast up our buns. This won't take long at all. Next time I see y'all, we're gonna assemble us some burgers. Oh yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gotta love a good toasted bun. Check that out. Perfect. Don't skimp out on your bun. If you take all that time to make a good burger, don't skimp out on your bun, guys. All right, I got some shredded iceberg lettuce that I'm gonna put on our bottom bun. Just like that on both of them. That's gonna help soak up all those juices for my burger patty. Again, this is a simple burger. You can put whatever you want on yours, but you really can't beat a simple burger. So now, oh wait, the cheese has got a nice crust. Now we're gonna put one burger patty right there. And this burger patty has our Mixture of jalapenos, onions, and minced garlic. And then we're gonna to top it with our other burger patty. This smells insane, y'all. Wow. It's a little hot, so be careful. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. I'm gonna turn our griddle off. It's done doing work. And I'm going to top it with a little bit of mustard. There we go. Perfection. Perfect. Let's go ahead and crown this burger. Perfectly toasted bun right on top. There we go. Right on top. Beautiful. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, turn the camera around and give this a try. Alright guys, I cut it down the middle. Look at how juicy that is. Smells insane. Appreciate y'all for hanging out while I made these burgers. Hopefully y'all give this recipe a try. Let's see how we did. <laughs> wow, you get that crispiness from the onions, the jalapenos, the nice flavor from the mustard. That salt, pepper, garlic really did these burgers justice. Look at how juicy that is, guys. USDA Prime Burgers from Six Brothers Beef Company. You can't beat this setup, so hopefully I'll give it a try. Appreciate y'all for stopping by and hanging out. Until next time, peace! Y'all keep on barbecuing. Can't ever go wrong with a good cheeseburger. Later, y'all.